Good morning. Welcome to I'm an RV wife. My name is Elaine, and I am glad you are tuning in today. Um, we are back from our trip to Kentucky and to Tennessee. We had a great time. Got everything put back together in the RV. Uh, did a deep clean as I was putting it together. Um, doing everything except the mopping and the vacuuming, and I'll take care of that today. That's the plan anyway. What I wanted to do today was to um, take the bedding off and put it in the uh, laundry. And that can be quite a chore. If you um, have any experience in an RV, you know that the bedrooms are not um, the biggest and do not offer a lot of space, but it is what it is. So, uh, because I was having such an issue when we uh, first went full time with changing and making up the bed, we decided to invest in um, the Betty comforter set. Now, if you're not familiar with Betty, it's a zip on, um, comforter top to the fitted bottom um let me see if i can show you I, i'm not going to go into a lot with um, um how it works and so forth because i'll show you that when the um comedy show of putting it on the bed after it's been laundered begin um but it is it is a zip type um set up where you zip the top to the bottom and then uh, let me go down the other way you zip this all the way around and you crawl in at night you can zip it back up or you can leave it um unzipped of course during the summertime it's better to leave it unzipped um it was designed i think for um a better ease and uh, being able to change the beds, like I said earlier, in an RV, but it's um, hadn't quite worked that way for me. So Gary's not in here right now, and and literally it um, sometimes takes two people. I'm gonna try to get it off by myself, and um, I'm gonna bring you along on this little journey because it. <laughs> It is a work out, believe me. So, let me get this thing off. Okay, first thing I have to do is step up on the stool that's down here because the bed's so high I can't get, I don't know if you saw the stool or not, but I have to step up on the stool because the bed's so high I can't get up by myself. All right, so I am on the bed, and let's see, let me pull this back. I lay down to this corner here. I don't know how this is going to work for being able to see anything, but I pull this up. And I keep pulling, keep scooting. All right, now that I got it pulled back, it should be a little bit easier to get off. <laughs> it is a workout. So let me roll off the bed. All right, now, let's pull this off. That's the top part. And you can see um, it's a beddy. I don't remember what the specific pattern of this was, but it's really pretty when it's made up, put together on the bed. This is an RV King, and 
they don't make RV bedding. Betty doesn't. So I ordered a king and it hangs over. Doesn't have a snug, tight fit, which is what makes it really pretty is how tight it fits. But it's not bad enough that um, I, I can't use it or I don't like it. So now I got a floor full of bedding. So now, let me go put it in the wash. It's an all day thing. Um, I just wash one piece at a time. And what takes so long is the drying process. It takes oh, probably three, maybe four cycles on drying per piece. And then we have to put it back together. And I'll show you that also. <laughs> Man. All right, so here is step three of the workout. And that's taking the sham off of the pillows. Um, they are strictly decorative. We don't sleep on them or anything like that. But I still wash them every time I wash the um, um, comforter and fitted part just to make sure that the colors stay the same even though it is cream colored um you know when you wash something even light colored after several washing it can kind of bleach out so to speak so i want to keep everything matching so i got a king size pillow stuffed in here and have to Pull it out. Now, pulling it off, this, is, this isn't this is all that difficult. But now, getting it in, again, this is round three of your workout. Um, my fingers don't always cooperate with me, so this can really be a challenge. Let me pull this out. There's no zipper to this or anything. It's strictly... Um, just stuffing it in. It's got the fold, the fold over, and then you, um, well, I'm looking at it backwards. Hold on just a minute. It's got the, uh, this part folds over, and then this uh, opens up. You put the pillow down in there. I'm sure y'all have seen that before. All right, so let's get this one out. And we're one step closer to getting it in the machine. First time I had this cleaned, uh, I actually took it to the laundromat. I didn't think my washing machine would be large enough. Um, it was, I think, $45 which wasn't bad at all. I, I was expecting it to be a good bit more. Um, but I don't know. I decided, let me try it in my washing machine and just see. And one piece at a time was no problem. I don't, I washed the um, pillow shams um, either by themselves or with something else. I don't put them in with the other because it does fill up the washing machine. Uh, but it worked. Like I say, the drying time is the only thing. It just takes all day long. Just keep repeating the uh, drying cycle. So, there we go. Now, let's go get, um, get it on to wash. And then when it's ready to put back on the bed, that's when the fun re really begins. All right, later, guys.
Damp, still damp. Okay, this is round two on drying, first load. Alright, this is round three on drying the first load. Okay, I believe this one is dry, so let's take it out. This will be round one for the top comforter. So let's see how it does in the next. So let's see how this is after one drying. Yeah, it needs to be flipped around. Second load. Let's see how this one. This has been through two cycles of drying. I believe that what I think I'm gonna put it in yeah it's a little damp still right in there I'm gonna put it in for on the timer for 10 minutes see how it does all 
not. That's the uh, washing machine that's making the noise. I'm going to say that it's dry. it out I decided uh, after I took it out it that it was still a little bit too enough. damp to put it on the bed so I put it back in for another damp 10 this, minutes I don't believe it's enough to run it through another I'm long cycle all right so Put the uh, pillow shams in to dry, and then we are done. I take it in, put it up on the bed. Okay, I think everything's pretty well dry. The um, pillow shams probably could get a little bit more dry, but I think they'll be okay. All right, so we gotta take this mess and turn it into a made up bed. So, first thing we need to do is we need to get this, the top part off, and I still feel a little bit of dampness in it. It's cooler. Huh? Cooler. Okay, whatever you say. All right, take that pillow, and this is what we'll be working with. Let me get around here and get these pillows off. These are the pillow shams. Just gonna toss them. All right, let's see. This zipper goes at the end. So, first thing we need to do is get it wrapped around the mattress. Do we need we need to pull the mattress down? There's a process, so we got to pull the mattress down, and then I get up here and wrap it around the top part. Okay, let's swap sides. <laughs> that, that ought to be interesting. To, oh, Lolly. Let me create me a walking space. I have mop, vacuum and mop, so my floor is clean. Okay, I'm headed that way. Oops. Like I was saying earlier, 
RV bedrooms aren't known for the amount of size. Or this one's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is not the best bedroom that we looked at, but everything else met, met our wants. saying earlier also this is an RV King mattress but it's a it's a king beddy they don't sell RV King size so it will hang off the edge and I'll show you when we get it all done it's not enough to be that concerned about so all right let's slide this back on okay all right that's the hard part yeah It's, it's just not going to fit tight and snug, again, because of the differences in the size. All right, got to find the zipper. Where's the zipper? Goes this way. And we do love our Biddy Max. I mean, cheap. Whatever you call it. <laughs> the Betty Betty. Yeah, I do love it. It's really there it's got it the opposite end. It's um it's really pretty. It makes up for a, a neat bed once it's all said and done. Um I don't think it really accomplishes what it was designed to for us. And again, it's because of the size or the lack of room between the bed and the wall. Otherwise, it's fine. So, let's hook up the zipper. Can you do a in my hands don't necessarily go hand in hand with each other. But it's got the little flaps right here of the um, Mickey Dot fabric. You can get them um, with just this. Then you'd probably have to add a blanket, especially during the winter time. For us, even in the summertime with that Mickey lining, Mickey Dot lining, we'll still get up under it. Zips have to be careful since it's not fitting tight that you don't get anything caught up in the zipper. And typically, I don't go any further with the zipping than where that slide part is. Alright, let me get on this side. I got on the end of this zipper. 
This is the third time I've washed it. First time was professionally clean, and I don't know where the zipper is. Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> My bad. It's on the the bottom part where the other one was on the top part. Right, let's see. Hmm. Have we got this thing on backwards? No, we don't think. Have I not got, what have I not got? Oh, okay. Right. I'm looking at it backwards. I'm looking at it upside down. Zip this up. Make sure the flaps up under there. That top part really is supposed to go a little bit more over the edge and up under the mattress. But it's just, it's almost impossible to do it. Trying to round the corner with the zipper. Don't let the issues with the zipper discourage you if you're thinking about getting a bed of yourself. Because it's, it's really issue with my hands that Again, I don't zip it up, but so far. All right. It's on the edge here. It's more to the edge of the bed here where it will overhang. Now, since it's freshly washed, um, it's fitting more snugly than it typically does. All right, next. Get the pillows and <laughs> the fellowship bite with them. All right. It's got just the envelope opening, so. It took about three hours total, earth, top, and bottom, three hours each to get them dry. And this pillow sham really probably should have stayed in a little bit longer. But okay, <laughs> you get the idea. We're going to stop the filming at this point, and then once I get it completely, totally made up, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, there it is made up. You can see the bottom is a neat look to it. the edges at the edge of the mattress right now it's pretty much on the edge of the mattress it's, it's a little hanging off about like that that much um, because of this difference in the size pretty much on the edge with this one and it just makes for a neat look now typically I, I don't put the pillows back that far, but I, I wanted to show you the pillowcases that come with it. It's the same fabric and it's this um, 
almost a satiny, silky, cotton, sateen, it might be called. But it's the same fabric that the um, underside of the um, bottom part of the comforter is made of. That's it. it I mean, it's relatively easy to make. Um, I don't always zip it all the way up. Don't always zip it. Sometimes I just um, fold it back up there under the pillows so I don't have to stretch out so far. But um, yeah, that's it. It was an all-day thing. So it's ready now for us to break down to get into bed and go to sleep. <laughs> Later. To clarify, when I said that it's relatively easy to make up, that's on a day-by-day -day basis. It is a chore to uh, take it off and put it in the laundry and then uh, put it back together. Uh, but like I said, you know, on a day-by-day -day basis, making it up in the mornings, it's not that bad at all. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this particular episode of I Am an RV Wife. Um, laundry is not all that thrilling, but this is a little bit of a workout that I thought you'd be interested in seeing. Um, and I'm not taking away from the beddy bedding at all. Um, it's, it's very nice. Uh, it's a little pricey, but, you know, I think it's worth it in the end. Thank you for watching, and if you're liking the content, please let us know with a thumbs up, like, and if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. We certainly would appreciate it. Thank you again, and we will see you all later. Goodbye.